Welcome as we explore using old MS DOS AutoCAD. Today we're going to start working on a project I want to do for a while, which is to create a cyber truck in AutoCAD version 10 from 1989, and also to render it in AutoShade 3D renderer for MS DOS. These are both 16 bit programs. AutoShade would eventually go to create a 32-bit version, but for this video we'll be using the 16-bit version. Here I'll demonstrate how to draw the wheel in 3D. I'll be a little bit slow. This video is sped up, but I had not done any real AutoCAD modeling since the mid-2000s, so I'm a little bit rusty. And obviously MS DOS AutoCAD I haven't used since the 90s. So here I am trying to lay out the wheel. I'm trying to make it lower polygon so it doesn't take so long to render. Which is kind of the theme of the Cybertruck anyways, which is why it's perfect for this project. Here I draw the initial triangle. That's a three-dimensional triangle, a face. Even though it's in a 2D plane, so it's really not 3D yet, but it's... You have to explicitly draw 3D faces in AutoCAD, or by default they're just 2D lines. AutoCAD is natively a 2D program, and the 3D was added later on. So version at least 10 of AutoCAD is one of the first what I'd call like modern style usable versions of CAD or AutoCAD. Before AutoCAD I'd used CAD key back in the, in the early days, but when I found AutoCAD I liked it a lot better. Now here I'm showing how to rotate the view into 3D views. There you can see it uh, with 3D angle. Okay, I'm trying to lay out the outer part of the wheel. Now here I'm trying to lay out kind of the, the z-axis uh, fall away for the side of the 3D model. One thing about AutoCAD is it can be very precise, even the old these old DOS ones are very precise if you know how to use them.
Okay, so now we're now I'm trying to draw the lower parts of the rim. Here we go. Now I made a 3D flat view. You can start to see the three dimensional. I just ran a headline operation on it. Just make sure that my 3D objects are looking good. You now you can see the basic wheel. Very low poly, but I think this is the job done. And I'll start working on the actual tire. That's the rim is complete. So now we'll, the tire can, of course, be more even around. And this is all operating on very low memory. Like right now, I mean, it's, this could all be done in one megabyte of RAM, but you're watching on the screen. My old system had four megabytes of RAM, but that was for the 32-bit versions of the program. Matter of fact, this, these old 16-bit versions, I'm not, well, they can use EMS, so they can use more than one megabyte of RAM on a 286 or 386 with an expansion board, but, and on a 386, you wouldn't have an EMS board. It wouldn't really make much sense because the 386 can natively support larger memory. Now I'm trying to make the chamfered edge of the tire. And there we go. I can they it around and the outside tire is much relatively smoother than the rim. At this point everything's green. The real one I'll you know we make the truck and we bring this tire into it, we'll change the colors to be black and silver, etc. etc. It's just that the, the this green these green lines stick out well. For contrast, the other thing too is kind of doesn't seem like much today, but this gray background was kind of a radical idea back in the MS DOS days, and now we're all used to Windows with this white screen and stuff. But I kind of like this gray background, which is still kind of you see the echoes of it in like the default SolidWorks background. Piece of the profile. In line test. Okay, now I'm connecting the tires flat, the flat of the tire. And there's a certain order in which you have to pick these faces so that they render properly. And now I can just 
a raven suckers. There we go. Look at that, huh? And now we it's starting to look like a real tire. We render that, and there's the wheel. Use the stretch command. Change the view again. Rotate the oh yeah, okay, I'm rotating the tire so it's upright relative to the XYZ. So like blender XY will be the ground and Z is up as opposed to like SolidWorks, which uses Z is facing the user, which is stupid. It's a, based on a concept from SGI, but it was never meant for the use in the world, but that's fine, whatever. Minecraft also uses the SGI orientation. But mathematically, X and Y should represent the ground, and Z should represent pointing up towards the sky. Now here I was, I, at some point I believe I changed the universal coordinate system and then I was trying to get back to the original coordinate system so when I import into the other file. I kind of spent too long messing around with this, but I just want to make sure the tire is oriented in the correct direction when I brought it into the actual truck model. Hopefully I'll be working on soon. And when I used to do these, I either was using a an Epson 386 with one megabyte of RAM and a SVGA or no, just uh, yeah SVGA, which would be 800 by 600, or at home I'd be using a uh, Packard Bell. 386 SX with 4 megabytes of RAM but only 640 by 480 resolution which is why I believe I rammed this uh, recording in. I originally I actually obtained a 386 laptop that I was going to record these in but my capture card I got was not behaving correctly and had and so I just kind of threw in the towel for now and I just ended up recording these on DOSBox but it still seems to behave relatively accurate for speed and such I'll still probably uh, when I get my capture card working I'll do the 3D screen. I could just record the screen I guess but that kind of I don't I think that sucks to do that but and I have some video of using rendering auto shade on the, the laptop itself, but it looks terrible on the old black and white screen. Oh, here we go. Now we're in auto shade. I guess we just skipped. <laughs> DOSBox will switch recordings or give, create a new file when you switch programs. But here we're going to. I brought it into auto shade. This is a separate program by Auto desk to render 3D images. Now I'm gonna I'm trying to set the rotation and everything to render the tire. And now this is technically using EGA graphics. It's not using VGA graphics. You have to go to I don't have the newer version of Auto Shade that has that. This is literally Auto Shade one Auto Shade one oh there we rendered it see first render but that's the back side so you can see the opening. And so I default is rendering a desert EGA image and I don't have the newer version of Auto Shade which could actually render in VGA 
256 color. But that's okay, this looks more retro anyways. So I'm basically just trying to get trying to figure out how to turn this tire around to render the proper side. So At some point I lost the orientation of the tire. I'll probably just import it into whenever I create my truck, my side of truck file, I'll import it into that. And we're done.